The materiality, the materiality. Do you know the word materiality? The materiality of this bag is on point. Designed for the vlogger, okay? But it's from a company that has, uh, in my mind, created extremely excellent bags for the outdoor explorer, right? This is for the urban explorer. And the first thing I was thinking about when I saw this bag, uh, the, the like PDF they sent me was this back panel, okay? It's like in the straps because their Action X series are oftentimes the camera bag that I reach for. Not when I'm going outdoorsy, just when I want something that I trust and rely on, because, I think partly because the straps are so comfortable. So I wanna see if these do the same thing. Obviously, the exterior is water repellent. There's also an optional rain fly. Obviously, we have side access on one side. I'll show you that in a second, into the camera cube. Obviously, I love their camera cubes. I've used them for a long time in lots of orientations in roller bags and backpacks, large and small. They make different sizes. They're really well-made camera cubes. Now, when I talked to Ian from Shimoda, he said one of the ideas that they had with this bag was make it less, make it less floppy. Make it like there's less straps around. There are a couple hidden accessory straps, which were originally, when I got the bag, were right up on this thing. You can still open the door with that strap on, which I think is pretty interesting. However, for my needs, I'm very rarely putting in a, a water bottle so large that I need to strap it up or a Uh, not a business paper, a tripod. So, a little advice is you make the strap as long as possible, put that all the way in, and then this can go all the way down. Just hide it away. There actually is a little clip, a little Hypalon clip that you can clip that to, which I think is brilliant. One of the many details that you're gonna see on this bag that Shimoda have thought through well. It's a little loop you can clip that G-hook to and cinch it up tight, and that way it can just stay down there. I don't wanna deal with that, I just wanna throw it in there. Okay, let's talk about these zippers, all right? We've got a good throw here, okay? We've got a good throw. We are water sealed. This is a nice Hypalon. It has a stickiness to it, like a tackiness. That feels surprisingly, surprisingly good. This is what I was talking about in the beginning with the materiality of this bag. This external material feels obviously water resistant, water repellent. It doesn't feel like it's going to, to rip or break or get caught and have abrasions from anything. It's not gonna pick up pet hair and lint and dirt. It's gonna be easy to keep clean. And there's also, a padded sort of like, it's not just this thin layer. There's structure on this bag. Obviously there's a huge camera cube, extremely protected camera cube, the back of which is, is right here on the front of the bag, but it's protected with a padded sort of structural thing up here even, where there isn't a camera cube, but it still has a little bit of bagness. I don't like a, I don't like a rocket pack, you know? You just don't like a rocket pack. These zippers are gonna break in over time, but they're a little bit like, Ugh. I just want them to be faster, easier, simpler to get in and out of. You see this little tab right here? These little tabs, again, materiality. Hypalon feeling kind of thing, super robust, really intensely sewed in there, and just a simple little thing to grip it and rip it. But this pocket, the reason why I'm talking so much about it is Excellent. You can see a little panel down there that segments the bag between this segment and the thing below it, okay? Here we have a very interesting way of accessing, do you see this? This is a little laptop icon or logo, okay? Because you can just flip like that and now you've got access to your laptop right here at the one zipper top of the bag. I've got my charger, spare hard drives, my pair of headphones, like everything that I need on the go right here, like when I get to the cafe or somewhere where I'm gonna actually edit, and I can just open one zipper and have access to my laptop. I'm very, I've, I have never seen this before because I'm used to laptops being on the front or on the back of a bag, right? 
Here's my 16 inch MacBook Pro, but I'm not able to close this up. Okay, so on the back of this Explorer 25, you can see right here, I actually cannot fit my 16 inch comfortably. But in this little compartment right here, slide it right in and it fits perfectly, okay? So I have a slot in the back for a tablet or a smaller laptop if I needed to in a pretty tight little bag. That can be extremely useful. I'm always putting my laptop and my tablet together and kind of worrying about how they're getting squished. I only do that when I travel, honestly. And I don't know if I would, I would use this as a daily, like carry my cameras in this as my bag and then have a roller bag or a duffel bag with me. Check out the duffel bags video. I would probably take, I would probably take their Shimoda roller though. And then you've got the front of the bag as well. If you want to throw a tablet or other sort of small laptop in here, there is an air tags pocket hidden away. But I love this thing. What I might end up doing is just leave this open like that. The question then becomes, as I put my stuff in here that I need, I always need access basically to my two hard drives and my power, then I love this, like the ability to just segment some stuff back here, okay? Keep some of this stuff out of that main compartment, throw a cable or two that I only need sometimes in here, and keep that out of my way. Now, the question is, does anything fall down that laptop pocket? I don't think it's going to because I have bigger chunks here, and I've got some volume here just to throw my incredible Focal, Batiste, Batiste, the best shocker that the more expensive Bluetooth headphones are actually really good, but they're the most comfortable. I carry them everywhere. I'm glad that I have them. You should know about them. I'll put a video here. Having all of my immediate tech needs, like all of those accessories that I need when it's time to edit, from my USB-C dongle to my external hard drive to my power charger and headphones and USB-C cable that connects those amazing headphones via DAC mode in my computer so I'm charging my headphones while I'm going and their battery lasts forever regardless. I have everything that I need in that top chunk, right? That feels, that's how I think. I don't wanna go into multiple compartments to get my stuff and this is one of the only bags that A, segments my gear, into like what I need right here. In the same compartment, I have access to my laptop, okay? And I have all my camera shit. <laughs> you also have this side pocket here. There are two pockets, right? On this side, on if the bag's on me, on my left side is an admin sort of like simple little pocket. Throw some cables, put some, this, is, this has a little icon on here for a cable pass through that can go up into that bigger top compartment. So throw your, you know, some like a heavier, legit battery right here. I wonder. So there are like some big batteries out there. Like this OmniCharge 20, I have, first of all, I have like an A, regular old like US AC adapter out, a couple USB A's and one USB C, but it's big and legit. So I would put that. I'd have to put that US, putting this in there like it does fit. And just having that on the side of my bag for when I need it is kind of interesting. It's a little bit doesn't want to, a little bit fat. What might not be great once that's in there is the, is the water bottle over here. But this is so stretchy. But no, it does not want to. You can see where the battery is right there. So I'll probably just carry my regular one that has the cables built in. These things are still, this was my brother's and um, it's, just, it's just nice when you have the cables all built in. I don't need to bring anything except for this with me. I think it'd be very interesting if Shimoda either made or partnered with a battery company because having a big battery like this that you just have in your bag for charging your microphone when it goes down. Oh, I forgot to even think about my microphone. You better have that USB micro around. Your camera. Many cameras can charge via USB-C. Your DJI or Rode microphone setup. This is a bag designed effectively for vloggers. I've been following Ian from Shimoda's vlogs and they're really peaceful, they're beautiful. He goes, he goes on these amazing hikes 
gets this drone footage on some mountain in Japan at sunrise, charge the drone. By the way, I do use these like Shimoda floppy doppy style bags for organizing stuff sometimes, right? This is my bat. This is my literal battery bag. This is not. not this is, they didn't pay me to say that shit. Whatever's going on on this side, this is the side I do want to fit my water bottle into because, again, this is a huge 32 ounce Owala water bottle, which is my favorite because it has a clip, it locks, because it has the perfect size mouth, and because when I'm in the car, you know, no 32 ounce water bottle fits in the car. But this does when you put it upside down because it's the shape of that, and it actually is really secure and it ends up being my favorite little like place to rest my hand. Anyways, I have used a lot of water bottles. This right now is my favorite, even though it's denting like mad. And it fits well into this big old gusseted thing, so your tripod's gonna fit well as well. I'm gonna use that over on this side because this side, that's how I'm going to access my camera compartment. You can see this cube that's inside, a separate thing has a zippered opening, a Velcroable insertion into this doorway here. Okay, real talk here. I don't love back panel access to a camera stuff. You've gotta take your bag off your body, put it on the ground, zip it up, moving the straps around. Now you can see everything. There's something excellent about this. You can see everything, right? Okay, but I've never really loved that. Obviously, however, I haven't actually found any other better way of doing it. Okay? Most of the time for me, I'm run and gun. I have a camera with a 15 to 35 lens on a full frame Canon EOS R6. So I'm shooting wide at 15 millimeters with a Rode microphone on top. I like to be able to throw that camera in with the microphone. I don't have a single bag that I can do that with comfortably, you know? So I'm always taking off the microphone to put it back in or when I am in go mode, I've got it on the Peak Design camera clip. This is really the, I think it's, I, I haven't used anything else on the market. This has got to be one of the best ones. Survive it to say I haven't needed, I've never needed anything better on the market. And they actually redesigned these straps to have a bit here to be able to include that. Because when I'm running and gunning, as it said, I like to you know, carry my camera just on the outside with the microphone on so that I can really, I can just quickly like bop it bop get it. The bummer is you gotta walk around with a freaking camera on like you're, a fri like you're a wartime journalist or something, or like a lonely dad, you know? <laughs> Hi. Before I forget, again to that materiality, whatever this is made from, this is your luggage pass-through. You put your luggage trolley through here. It just feels great. It's slightly stretchy, but not so stretchy that it feels like it's just gonna, your bag's just gonna, your heavy bag's gonna just fall forward. Perfect, perfect kind of material. So while we've got this open, just to mention how much I have loved these cubes. This is the Urban Explorer 25. So our size here, uh, depth-wise, is not their biggest size. So you're gonna have to understand your camera, how tall, wide, deep, long. My cannons are all gonna fit in here just fine if I put them on their bottom. I put them on their bottom. Then with this door, the way that it opens, it will be easiest to get access to what something just right in the middle. As much as I would like to push it to one side or the other, it will be much easier to get it out when it's right in the middle with the lens attached. For myself, this is actually a lot of camera gear. This is more than I tend to need when I'm just out and about doing a kind of a vlogger sort of thing. However, if you have a drone, if you, have, if you need a second camera or lens, right? This is capable of carrying a lot of stuff, more than I would actually need, to be honest. And this is just the 25. They have a size that's even larger than this. And that's a big question. Which one do you go with? The smallest one doesn't even fit a 16 inch MacBook, okay? So that was that one's off for me. The 30 liter biggest is, is what I would go for if I was taking both my cameras. Okay, with the laptop and all my everyday kind of tech gear, it's time to feel some of this strappy dappy stuff. We've got a magnetic sternum strap that is probably removable. I could probably get it off of this, but I don't want to because with a camera especially, with that kind of weight, 
you want to be able to feel really secure. Again, I got my big old, it's a full water bottle on here right now, and I can absolutely feel that padding on the back. I knew it from the pictures. I was like, oh, I'm gonna like that padding. It's narrow. It doesn't step out beyond my love handles over here, right? It's narrow on me at this 25. I can feel my water bottle right here. And then, you know, this is the side that opens, right? So I come up to my right side, open up, I can get all my stuff. Zip that up with a water sealed zip. I'm not crazy about this, but I have seen so many bags have a worse opening. And my hunch is this is gonna wear in over time. Why am I not crazy about it? Water sealed zips, okay? Great zip pull, great zip throw, the shape of that. None of those curves are too intense, right? So you can close it up, open it up, you're into it. It's already moving a little bit easier. Just, I would almost go without the water sealed zips, but I'm crazy. This 25 liter size is great for just like throwing around like that, you know, just getting, it's do, it doesn't look too big. It's jet packy in a way for sure. Like with my water bottle on there, the fabric is tight over here. I've got a camera cube, but for actual urban exploring, this thing feels really good. It does. And I think it just has an extremely slick look. Now this is the black or anthracite. Their tan one, I think looks really, really good. Another thing on the straps, by the way, load lifters to help pull the weight up and forward a little bit. Keeps the bag up against your body and, and pulls it up a bit, which is useful for how it distributes the weight. There is a secret zippered pocket down in here. I think you could fit a passport in there. So if you're using this as your daily carry on an actual international trip, that's cool. You can also get, I think, some accessory hip straps to go right here, which on the 30 liter bag would be more relevant, I think, than the 25. Even when I have both my cameras in here, which I can fit, I think I would still not use the hip straps. Finally, we've got handles. There's a handle on the bottom, which is just webbing, but nice to be able to have a side handle, which has this beautiful little stay inside, like almost like plastic metal kind of stay, and then a top handle that actually retracts. It comes back down, keeping for a really sleek, very like, I don't know, you see, do you agree that it's got a very slick, sleek kind of look with these little corners here? And the handle, I think, is contributing to that. Arguably, I would love a, you know, a beautiful leather handle up here didn't even retract, it just stayed up off the top of the bag and like, that would be like a, like a, um, I don't know, like a, a special edition or something. Just, just some Canadian, some Canadian leather <clears throat> right up there. Because this is the kind of bag that I could see if I didn't literally review bags for a living, I could see me this is this just being my bag. Like this is this is one I use. It's clean. It's simple. I love the chunk up top, and the the doorway into my stuff as well as the see everything. Put it on the ground and grab everything. The ability to carry more gear than I typically need. So I could use this as my gear bag when I'm on an international trip. If I need like a tight group of gear. I could fit that all in here with, and, and this is my bag on the plane. You know, got a spot for my tablet in the back, laptop in the front, everything feels really protected. I think when this thing is loaded out with cameras, it's gonna stand upright every time. Right now my laptop is, is in the front and that's basically all of the weight that's in this bag besides the stuff that's up top. I, I, I'm really struck by the details. The, the tab pulls, the way that the Hypalon zipper pulls feel the accessory strap like detail down in there where you could cinch it up you just want it to be away the little hidden air tag pocket down there the mesh on the back panel and stuff all of it feels really well conceived like thoughtfully put together 
So the only question left for me on this is, yeah, and I do like these straps. I miss the big, okay, so their previous, their, the X, like the Action X stuff, had this like, and then this like big old, like pocket on the strap. But something about it all just felt like it was like, oh, it was like pulling me up. Like, <laughs> as someone that experiences a little jiggle from time to time, it was nice to have myself feeling secure. <laughs> I don't know if what it was, they just felt so, like they weren't supposed to be as comfortable. By the looks of them, you didn't think they'd be that comfortable, and it was. This feels like I'm in the same, like a similar vein, but I don't have that big pocketing weirdness around. It's a, th it's a thick, thick, like a, a fatty kind of soft padding with a good mesh. I like it. Ultimately, I think that this material is going to be extremely durable. So it's worth your uh, investment if you're looking for a camera bag. I'll link below to all my favorite camera bags. I am a camera bag uh, snob is maybe a, one way of putting it, but just like someone who's experienced a lot of camera bags. And Shimoda has always stood out to me as people making, making really interesting decisions. I did not think I was going to like their original Action X stuff. You know, I didn't like their, I didn't think I was going to like their floppy design, like, like organization and inner compartments and stuff. I realized over time those bags taught me so much about how to move through the world with my camera gear. So I always have a soft spot for Shimoda. And I think that this is the, as their first sort of non outdoorsy, non adventure kind of backpack. This looks beautiful. This is, and it still feels like Shimoda, you know? So shout out to Shimoda for designing really interesting stuff. Holler at your boy uh, in the holler at me in the comments if you have any questions. What is your what's your camera bag? You know, what do you use? I know a lot of people are using Peak Design, Wandered. I know a lot of people are using Think Tank. What do you use? And what is important to you about a camera bag? Because I want to um, I want to stay. Uh, I, I just I want to see if there's something out there that I haven't seen before. You know? Okay. It's funny, I I am I do really love having a top compartment for all my shit. I like I, I'm very excited to use this bag for the next little while. Because of that. Because it's just everything in one little chunk. One little chunk. Alright, that's it. I just got back from Atlanta at a mastermind group. That was fun. Uh, and that's it. That's all I got. I'm trying to figure out how to how to be a grown up about my business. You know, I just make videos for a living, like a like a weirdo. That's all I got. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken.